Breaking news now on the trucker protest in Canada. A court in Ontario has granted an injunction to end the blockade on the Ambassador Bridge at the U.S.-Canada border. So we'll see if truckers listen to that court order or what happens from here. But it happens as truck drivers in the U.S. are warning of plans to hold similar protests here in the U.S. In fact, last night on this show. There absolutely is something in the works, uh, and, I, and I know that on, on first-hand knowledge, but uh, we're not really trying to go too public with it. We're trying to keep it in-house as much as we can because we want to make sure that this stays a grassroots movement. That was Brian Islesley, a driver we had on the show last night. Today we're seeing signs he was probably on to something and knows what's happening, specifically on social media where some digging reveals private Facebook groups are forming with names like this one here, Freedom to D.C. Some truckers even reportedly laying out specific plans for the routes the convoy will take to Washington, D.C., as they're even advising each other to avoid big cities. A source sent us this screenshot earlier today. Joining me now for more on this, another American truck driver who's warning us to stock up on groceries in anticipation of these protests, J.D. Walker. J.D., it's good to have you with us. What do you know about what's happening? Is this, is this going to go down, do you think, here in the U.S., similar to what we're seeing in Canada? I believe so. I believe it's coming, it's coming straight to the states. I, ho I, hope, I hope that, I'm, that I get involved with it. Really? Yes, sir. And now, yes, sir. Are, are we talking about a convoy here, J.D., or are you talking about similar blockades? Uh, I'm talking about convoys. Now, I, if it was left up to my devices, I'd have convoys going throughout the states right now. And that's only, that's only because of what every American is going through. With every, every American that, that uh, is actually out there working or trying to work, I feel like that it's necessary for for uh, the truckers to sit there and, and speak for them also. Trying to work, J.D., is one thing, and a convoy is another. A blockade is something completely different. I just worry that the timing on this, if it involves things like what we're seeing in Canada, where bridges are shut down, people are losing their jobs, parts aren't getting delivered. You guys have built up a lot of goodwill. You got us through the pandemic when no one would leave their house, and you guys delivered our goods. I'm just worried, are you that you lose that goodwill if you start to put up a roadblock like this? I don't believe it's going to be a roadblock like what's happening up there in Canada. I don't think that'll happen. I okay. believe it'll be a, a flow, a flow of trucks. That's what I believe. All right. Um, I'm, I'm curious as far as what you think uh, will be the fallout from this, though. Um, and, and my other question is, I mean, we are so hurting for you guys right now. The last I saw, we we're talking about hiring 18-year-olds to drive big rigs. Um, how is it that you guys have the time to even do this, to pull off a convoy when, when you have, I'm sure, plenty of work? Well, sometimes you have to you, you have to put priorities in order. With you putting your priorities in order, you know, you've got to do what you got to do. To get to get through the day, that's how I feel about it. What are you protesting, JD? I mean, the, the truckers don't have a mandate to get the vaccine, right? They were left out of that federal mandate for transportation, and and a lot of states are are dropping mask mandates right now. Why would you take part and look forward to taking part in these convoys to protest? Uh, the reason the reason why I I'm looking forward to it is because of the mandates that are are still in place. There are still some states that are going through these mandates with the vaccines and with the masks. The way that I feel about it, I believe that it should be everybody's choice, not just you know not being forced to do it. It should be everybody's choice. That's how I feel about it. That's the reason why I feel the way that I feel. Do you think the truckers in Canada should uh, should stop what they're doing now? Had they made their point two weeks later and open up the bridge so that trade can flow? The tens of millions of dollars we're we're losing in business on this. I feel I feel like that they should hold their ground as long as it takes. Even though there's this injunction, let's say if you were parked there, JD, like this truck we're looking at right here, we heard about the injunction asking these truckers or telling them anyway, instructing them to open up the Ambassador Bridge. What would you do? Um, I really couldn't answer that because I'm not up there. The way that I see things that are flowing and stuff like that, it just seems like that, uh, you know, that they're not lifting the mandate. If they lift the mandate, 
then I'm sure that the the drivers will feel like, okay, well, we've done our job. We've done what, what we came to do, and it's time for us to go. Well, I think they lifted it in Saskatchewan, at least I'd heard. But, you know, the rest of it, I'm not sure. Uh, we will see. But you think um, there will definitely be some of these convoys we'll be seeing here in the U.S., but not the blockades. That's your takeaway? That's my take, yes. All right. Truck driver J.D. Walker, thanks for your time. Thanks for what you do for all of us delivering. Stay safe on the roads. We'll see you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.